Hi there, you and Bob, what to play next? I'm your host, it's Intended Ribbon, Violet, Nick Posh. Um, we found this on the indie scene. I love trolling around there because they just have the literal best things ever. So this is Vampocalypse. We're going to play it on the easy, make me look good, go through the tutorial. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Press E and D to move, okay? Let's... To the Vampocalypse! Humankind's most popular competition on TV. Every week, one vampire is captured and attempts to run for his freedom. Or die trying. So it's like the Hunger Games, but there's less blood. Without further ado, give it up for Jindra! Everybody, golf claps, golf claps all around. <clears throat> Alright, so use A or D to move. <coughs> Obviously, that that is a camera following me. Could not be more obvious. Spacer W to jump. Hold for a longer jump. I have some flying powers. Powers walk up to humans to suck their blood. They have victims for me. That is so nice. This is, you know... If you think the network exe execs are nice people, you are incorrect. Press K to switch to a wolf. Make an animal form costs blood. So I can't just go prancing around, oh wolfy dolphy. Oh, I can fall to my death, that's nice. Oh no. I have to, hold on, K makes me into a wolf. I'm jumping very differently as a wolf. Okay, the stationary jump works, that's good to know. Sometimes, um, devs try to include physics into what they can. Um, oh, am I gonna get help? Am I getting help here? Come on down and help. Press L to transform into a bat. Now this is also going to take up some of my health, but I need to get through here. So, I've got cameras everywhere. You can pause the game by pressing escape. So when I hit K, I just like fall. So this is a little bit like Tropic Fun Thunder, but we're doing something way more real than going native. We're going vampire. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. The sun is coming up. Oh no. Friend, I don't know that we have, like, all is kind of a large statement. <gasps> I have to outrun the sun. This is, no. I mean, can I pass? On the sun? No? Uh, so skip the humans and just, like, try to outrun the sun. Got it. Feeling good. Feeling right. Feeling like I could have gone up there, but, you know, really, what am I? Uh, L. Because of that. Oh god, oh, I got, you know what? This is worse than Flappy Bird. Run, Flappy Bird Bat! Run! Oh, it's draining my energy. Look at me, I'm gonna light on fire. All of this excitement is making me really hungry. Thankfully, our specialty hot dogs always hit the spot. They only cost five dollars. Oh no. Oh. There's fire falling from the sky. It can hit me. This is insanity. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Game over. Okay, so let's go back to the menu. We'll try this for real. So we're going to do it on easy and we're not going to play this tutorial. So we are in the Vampocalypse. Finally the moment- oh, okay, so they're just- they're plunged with the- so they're gonna keep us in here. So, we've all been waiting for the sun is coming up. I thought that I would be able to make up for my lack of coordination by becoming a bat. This is apparently not true. What I can do is go up here and drink the blood off of him and then keep going. So, you know, it's highly questionable whether or not this is easier. I know I can move faster as a bat. I don't really know that that's helping me. Alright, go up here, get a person. Look at me go, I'm a, I'm a vicious beast here. There's obviously different strategies, there always are in uh, Hunger Games style type of whatever this is. The genre, if you will. All of this excitement is making me really hungry. Thankfully your specialty hot dogs can only cost for dollars. So I'm back to being me, me be me, you know, just like want it. Okay, so if I'm an animal, I die at this point because there just aren't enemy humans to eat. 
so that's good. Sun comes up, immediately lose my stop. Stop watching the landscape fall in the pit, you know? On the upside, you do appear to have endless lives. That's always nice. Um, if it goes flash or idle at all, I definitely recommend that because it's got a more relaxed feel where you can get used to a control structure that to a lot of people is going to feel slightly off. It's hard to explain, um, but when you're used to the physics being integrated into the mechanics, then it does feel a little bit, like, floaty. It feels like, um, you know, you definitely notice that the gravity is not there, so that just is what it is. Oh my god, the humans slow me down. Did you see that, friend? I mean, you were you were there with me. So they've got all these cameras on me. This is a lot of pressure for me. You're seeing the pressure. So if you push the same button, you just drop right back into your normal vampiric form. So I'm doing well as far as time goes. Running out the sun here. Just fine. Just needing me. There don't appear to be any jumps that a vampire, just being a vampire, can't take. I think here that's too bad. Nothing horrid or horrible. Oh, the nice camera drone caught a meteor for me. How sweet is that? That's just, that's too just sweet. It seems like we went a bit too far with the meteors today. I know, I just caught your camera. One of them just broke the control room window. Me turning things down a notch. Nothing gender or survive volcanoes anyways. Well, that's... I have volcano insurance. So I do read ahead. I want to see what this potion does. Oh, okay. It increases my speed, which is cool. Again, with the jump mechanics, I'm not necessarily going to know how that affects me. Almost died there because of it. With physics based games, um, then that would affect it. Uh, they don't appear to have the physics turn on in Unity for this, so that's uh, that was a skip there. I don't know that I'm still trying to outrun the sun. If so, I'm obviously doing an incredible job of it. A wonderful, if not amazing job of it. Oh, you know what? Just run into the lava. Because obviously, I mean, it couldn't be more obvious to me that that's good for you. You know? Like, what could be better for you than landing on molten hot lava? I don't want to slow down too much. Obviously, I can sup on some humans here. Get my supplements. Whee! Right up and over it. I'm a beast. My flying ability is second to none. Go down the tunnel, going into the sewers. I mean, yep, there's the sun coming up. So I wonder what happens if I beat it, if I go on to like the next board, if I get critical acclaim. Will this help me later in life? Obviously, everyone wants to know. Congratulations, Gender, you've survived the Vampocalypse. We've arranged some more peasants for you to eat as a reward. Enjoy. Look at me. And then, but I might die, you know, by the sun. Die to the- Don't die to the sun! You survived! You're gonna live. Just keep running. Don't trust people. Don't forget the next week is our annual VIP episode. So recaptured Count Dracula himself. Awesome. So Transylvania got raided again happening on a regular basis. So do I get to run offset or do I just keep eating puzzles? Um, this is still in beta from what I understand. What a great show! Jinda has a great full year his freedom. We'll be taking a break for the rest of the day. Don't forget to tune in at midnight for the Werepocalypse. The only TV show where you can watch werewolves escape tsunamis. Um, typo there on the Y. I think there might also be one of peasants. I think it's peasants. Well done, Ginger. You were one of our best competitors. But did you really believe that we would let you leave? We can't have you telling other vampires about what's happening to you. Don't worry. The sun will make this quick. Yeah, I'm gonna get in here. Then what? Christ! What are you doing? Open the door. Please just let me live. No, stop, please. Then I eat his head. Mention hot dogs. Stop sending too many viewers. Tell Bob to capture more peasants. Join a game jam. Oh no. The sun will make this quick. It's not though. It doesn't. I, I get incinerated. 
if there's some sort of control scheme and at that point I might be able to break out. If the death does develop and I'm sure that there will be more levels once I escape, we will be able to eat entire villages and only help. These are free to play at this point. It's on a data. I oh, I love them through the indie scene. So go ahead and um, click the link below. Play it for yourself. It's totally cute, totally fun. Um, you can do all sorts of self-destructive things like just run your own, run your own energy out, explore the board, see what they have. Um, a little bit flashy. Um, so as far as the physics goes, not a complaint. Um, I still enjoy playing that sort of game. So still definitely a good time. The increased speed potions are cool. Um, I don't know that I would throw in another buff. That's a pretty good one. Going in between bat and human is cool. The cameras are a nice touch, so there's a lot going for it. We have a link to donate if you want to buy us a cup of coffee. We teamed up with Ko-Fi. Uh, I assume it's also pronounced coffee. K-O-F-I. Um, so the link is down there. You can donate a dollar or more and buy us a cup of coffee. Um, we also partner with Gamer Grind. They're Gamer co so they're awesome. But um, liking and subscribing, commenting, always free. Make this chick smile. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. And we'll see you in the next video.